Welcome back. We're discussing a provocative new perspective on Israel's past that questions the traditional history of the Jewish people and envision, envisions a different future for everyone living in the region. Joining me from London is Shlomo Sand, professor of contemporary history at Tel Aviv University and author of the book, The Invention of the Jewish People, which has just been released in English after causing a political storm in Israel, spending 19 weeks on the bestseller list. As we get back to our discussion, George in the UK has been waiting very patiently. George, thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, yes. Um, one of my uh, colleagues actually forwarded me some online information about your book, and I read some uh, transcript online, and it said something which was shocking to me, and this is that you are saying that most of the Jews are actually not Semites. I mean, um, I, I don't know, if you could please just fill, uh, fill us in about this, um, if I read it correctly, maybe I misread George. it. Uh, two interesting questions. Okay. I'm going to start with the okay. first one to Professor. The Semitic history of, uh, if, of Israelis or Jews in Israel. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I don't think, think that is, uh, the Jewish are Semitic. I, you, we can start with s something that I mentioned before. The exile of the Jew in the first century of our era didn't happen. There is not any a scientific uh, research book about the exile. You know, it's a myth, the exile of the Jew, and I think that most of the Jew in the world came from conversion, massive conversion, from the beginning of the first century till the 18th century. Uh, Jewishness was the first proselyte monotheism, and most of the Jew are descendant of conversion and not of racist uh, descendant from the ancient Hebrew. This I, uh, I answer. Uh, I answer, I, I, I hope that I answer you. Mm. I think that uh, the Berbers in North Africa become Jew in were in North Africa before the Arabs arrived there. I think that the uh, Jew were in Ukraine before most of the Russians were there. And so on and so on. Uh, yes, the Jewish are not Semitic. Most of them are not Semitic. This is for the first question. You know, interestingly, we had an email that came from Greece, if I could put this to you, from Vicky Nikolaidis, who says, I'm curious as to how the centuries which evolved before Judaism on the land of modern Palestine can be ignored by the archaeological history. Now, I wonder, you also say, uh, if I'm correct in your book, that many of the, the Palestinians who were, uh, who were there in, on the land were actually converted from Judaism as well. Not only this, it's not me. You know, the, a lot of people criticize me that I pretend that Palestinians are the real Jew. Not at all. It's David Ben-Gurion and others, first Zionists, that when they arrived to Palestine, they were sure that the peasant, the Arab peasant in place, are the descendant of the ancient Hebrew. It's not Shlomo Sand. It's mm. David Ben-Gurion that till the 20, 1929 believed that the Arab peasant are the descendant of the ancient Hebrew. And they were converted from Judaism to Islam in the seventh century after Jesus Christ. It's not me that uh, right. you know, put it forward. And I believe that Ben-Gurion was more or less right. I mean, I don't believe that uh, the Palestinians today are the, the direct the descendant of the ancient Hebrew. They are mixed like every other people. But the chance that a member of Hamas in Hebron will be a descendant of the ancient Hebrew, ancient Jew, is much more greater than my, my affiliation to this. The Invention of the Jewish People is the book by Professor Shlomo Sand. Thank you for sending in your questions. Remember, you can follow the show on Facebook and see what we're up to there, and you can give us feedback on what we're uh, broadcasting and post your questions and comments. Until then, we'll see you next time.